Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a tortoise one and I'm going to attempt to answer a question that I get asked quite a lot in relation to tortoises and that is how often, how much to feed them and how to know whether they're eating enough. So this is going to be a really tricky question to answer because it depends from tortoise to tortoise, it depends on the species, it depends where they live, there's so many factors to take into consideration. So yeah <laughs> maybe start off by looking into their natural diet what it would be in the wild what they'd be eating whether they'd be walking around grazing picking bits from here and there so look at their natural activity in the wild and uh, yeah basically do a lot of research i've got a diet video that is specifically tailored to the species of tortoise that i own and he is a herman's tortoise He's um, from the Mediterranean, so that would also cover kind of horse fields and other Mediterranean species. So that's a good place to start with, you know, knowing how much to feed them. Also where they live is going to have to be taken into account because if they live in a small indoor um, vivarium or a tortoise table, they're probably not going to eat as much as they would if they were outside in a really big enclosure. The same way with people, if you're getting lots of exercise and you're burning off a lot of calories, you're going to need to eat more. Um, also, whether they're herbivores or omnivores, uh, herbivores are generally going to need to eat a lot more in volume than omnivores because uh, weeds and fresh grasses and things like that don't contain as many calories as protein-rich foods like um, species that will be eating bugs and things. So, yeah, that definitely needs to be taken into consideration. Also, keep regular weight measurements if you can. I try to weigh all of my animals weekly just so I can keep track of whether they're losing any weight or gaining any weight. Sudden changes in their weight is definitely an indicator that something could be wrong, either with their health or with their diet. So it's a really good practice to get into and just to make sure, especially if they're young, that they're growing healthily and they're steadily putting on the right amount of weight. So that's definitely a good thing to do. And then after a while, you'll learn the specific requirements to keep your individual animal healthy. So if you notice that they're not putting on as much weight as maybe they should be, if they're young and they're growing, then you can adjust it here and there accordingly. Or if they're losing weight, then you really might need to bump up the volume and check that they're eating the right kinds of food. So how much they eat really will kind of depend. With my species, he would go around in the wild with a wide variety and just pick and kind of graze all day. So I really try and make sure that he's got food available in his bowl all day and it's a variety so he can pick here and there when he pleases and eat as much as he wants. So sometimes I end up filling up his bowl twice and then sometimes I'll end up filling it up three or four times. It really just depends on his mood. He will eat a lot one day and then maybe the next day he won't but that's normal for him and I just try and make sure that personally um, he's got it there available whenever he wants so he can regulate how much he's eating because that's me trying to keep it as natural as it would be in the wild. So it will take a while to get used to, but as long as you start them out on a healthy diet from the get-go and just make sure that they've got enough available and they've got enough food, then I'm sure they'll be fine. If you are concerned or they're losing weight or you want any more information, you can take them to the vet. It is a bit tricky to find a vet that really knows what they're talking about with reptiles, but if you find a vet, you could take them there and talk about it. You can also go on the Tortoise Trust website, which has a lot of amazing information. It's somewhere that I always personally recommend over any other tortoise website because they're completely impartial and all of their information is very well researched. It's very, very well put together. So I personally recommend going to them if you've got any concerns or your vet or maybe join a forum. There's a lot of tortoise forums available and you can always ask your question with a load of knowledgeable tortoise owners. But just make sure that you um, take a little bit of what everyone says and don't do all of your 
um, tortoise care just based on what one person says because you do need to make sure that they know what they're doing and the consensus says the same thing so be a bit careful with that but definitely check out some websites and you can always leave a comment on this video and I'll be willing to send you to any um, well-informed websites that I find or so yeah this is a really tricky question and it'll be different for each animal but I hope I've helped you a little bit and thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye!